very excited about today's video because I want to talk about Bitcoin, my thoughts on it. Some of you guys may have seen actually the previous video that I posted a few months ago called Why I'm Buying Bitcoin and Why You Should Too. In fact, we'll put it up here in the description as well as in this video for you guys to click on it and go watch it. But basically, long story short, on November 22nd of 2022, as you guys can see here, I purchased about $17,000 worth of Bitcoin right when it was around a little over $16,000. First of all, I want to explain the anomalies on these charts that can kind of show you some, some signs as to why I bought where I bought and my thought processes behind it. But I also want to talk about the future of Bitcoin because as much as Bitcoin has gone from November at 16,000 and some change when I bought it, and now it's sitting at over 28,000 in just four months, I've made about $12,000 in that case from just that one coin, which if you guys watch that video, you understand that my strategy was very simple. If it went back down to 12,000, I would have bought another coin. If it didn't go down, I would have never touched it again. That was it. When it hit 16, I bought. When it hit 12, I would have bought. When it hit eight, I would have bought. When it hit four, I would have bought, etc. It just didn't go that low. Today I want to explain to you, this is the chart of Bitcoin, and I want to explain to you a couple of my thoughts, both from theory to entry to also current theory. So first things first, I wanted to address just the general underlying green box here. This green box has been a box that has proven uh, very significant over the last couple of years. And the general price of this box is hovering at about $30,000. This $30,000 to $32,000 level on Bitcoin is crucial for the future of the coin. What I mean by that is you guys have seen time and time again over the years, this is back in 2021, how this $30,000 level had a little bit of trouble breaking and then it broke. And then notice it became what's called support. The price couldn't break back below that level, it bounced. It came back to that level and danced around for months. Couldn't break that level. It came back to that level, bounced. It came back to that level, bounced. Finally, when it broke that level, we haven't really touched it again. And right now, as you guys can see, we're getting back near that level. Now, I want to address, first of all, this blue line. This represents the exact day that you guys saw in that screenshot, November 22nd, 2022, that I bought Bitcoin. And this, uh, this pink line represents the approximate price that I bought Bitcoin, about 16,200 we'll call it, 16,198. Now what I wanna show you guys is a few different things that I'm noticing on these charts. The first thing that I want you to notice on these charts is the volume index on the bottom here. In fact, I'll uh, get this away here and I just want to use my mouse to highlight. You see those little spikes of red? See those? Take a look at that spike of red. Right there when the market was falling, spike of red. What happened shortly after? Shot up. Take a look at this spike of red. Market was falling. What happened shortly after? Shot up. Take a look at this spike of red. That was right when I bought. Shortly after, what happened? Shot up. This is a volume indicator. It indicates whether or not buyers or sellers are in the market. Simply put, the taller the green bar is, the more buyers are in the market. The taller the red bar is, which is what I just explained to you, the more sellers. This is a clear indication of selling. Panic. You guys have heard the quote. Be greedy when others are fearful. That's the exact example of this. So I want you to understand, first of all, that where we currently sit, we are in a situation where this is going to be a battle for a little bit of time. I expect this to continue to be a battle for the coming months, meaning I don't expect, obviously I won't be mad, but I don't expect the chart to just simply shoot up. But the second chart I want to show you that I think is even more interesting is the halving cycle. This goes back to 2012. This is the halving cycle. Now, if you guys don't understand the halving cycle, I'm not gonna spend much time talking about it, but the halving cycle has to do with the difficulty in mining Bitcoin. As you guys know, there's only a certain supply of Bitcoin available. There is an expiration to the amount of coin that'll be available. That's why they call it the perfect currency. In the real world, we just print more currency when trouble ensues, but in Bitcoin, as time progresses, it gets harder and harder and harder, and it costs more to produce it, meaning that it's getting produced slower and slower and slower, and supply is diminishing. This is the halving cycle. The black lines represent every halving cycle. When it became more and more difficult to produce Bitcoin, meaning supply slows down. Now, what I want you to notice is not this black line it's not the halving cycles. I want you to notice what happens at the half of the half. So think about the distance halfway between these bars. 
Look at about the halfway mark in here. What happened? That's when the bottom occurred. Took a little while after having shot up. About halfway here. Bottom shot up. Now notice it took till after having in order to really start to roll. Where are we right now? We're a little earlier than these two situations, but that means that put us towards the end of 2023, this area is what I would foresee as the bottom of this cycle. And that means that that will put us into March of 2024 and later to then see sort of a replay of this and this and this. Notice after the black line is when the substantial runs occurred and right before the black line halfway in is where these sort of, we'll call these bottoms occurred. The importance of this is understanding the timing of the market, guys. Now listen, I'm not trying to time Bitcoin perfectly. As you guys know, I've been very public of where I've been entering and holding. But right now what I plan on doing is just simply holding to ride this thing out at minimum back into the highs, if not another run up after the cycle uh, starts and then into 2024 through 2024 into 2025. So hopefully this video provided you some value and some insight. What I would do if I was you is I would keep watching around this level. I would say, okay, if we get up to this level, it starts to have trouble. We know that it's had trouble. Once it breaks it, it had trouble, had trouble, had trouble. Who's to say it won't have trouble and bounce back down to the downside? Now that you know that it could bounce back down to the downside, start watching this volume indicator on the bottom. This is on trading view. You can come up here to indicators and you can search volume and you can add this volume indicator to your chart. If at that point in time you see this area, it starts to drop dramatically fairly quick and suddenly you see a large spike, just like those lines we saw, around that time might just be the opportunity for you to get in for another round and uh, hold on for long-term investing. I'm not interested in holding Bitcoin for the short term. I'm frankly not even that big of a Bitcoin believer. I don't have much Bitcoin, I'm very public about that. But I just wanted to show you some insights that I see make some sense and what I'm seeing from a technical and fundamental front. And I'm just taking this information over from Forex trading and stock trading and all the experience that I've had over the last eight years from those markets. So if you learned anything in this video or you have any thoughts about what you think could happen here with Bitcoin, of course, comment those down below. As always, click the like button if you want to see more videos just like this. And of course, guys, we are about to hit 20,000 subscribers. Please do me a favor. I'm just spitting out value. I'm giving all this free. Chick, uh, click my channel. Look at all the podcasts. Look at all the videos. Have I once said I got some random BS mentorship program? No. I want to help you. I'm putting out insight that I see from my opinion for you. Click the subscribe button, guys. Please, please, please. We'll see you guys on the next video.